In this video, we're going to look at fractions. First, we're going to look at a very important and useful property of fraction, which is called the fundamental property of fractions. Uh, you may not realize the, uh, that you are using it or realizing the name of this property, but we, we are using this uh, when we deal with the fractions all the time. So, for example, if we have, uh, we know that if we have a fraction, let's say, uh, 2 over 4, we can reduce this to 1 over 2, um, because we can uh, see that 2 and 4, they have uh, a 2 in common. We can divide both of them, top and bottom, by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. We can draw a graph to explain this. Why, um, so this is sort of like the um, calculation we do. But if we look at the graph, suppose we have a, um, I'm going to draw uh, boxes to, rep to describe the fractions. So we draw this uh, rectangle to represent a, a number 1. One half we can divide one into two equal parts, and each of them, each piece will represent a half. So let's say this will be one half. Now similarly, we if we take the box, uh, we can divide it. Yes, first we can still do the same thing, divide it into two equal parts, and this piece right here will be the same as that it would be one half but what if I um, take each equal part and divide them into another two equal parts and notice that the sh shaded area shaded uh, part on the left corresponds to this piece right here Okay, so when you look at this one, we have we divided the number one, so the whole box is represented by one, and um, so this fraction is represented by one half. But when we look at this box, the, again the whole box is represented by one, but this piece right here is two equal parts out of four equal parts. So when we describe it, it's 2 out of 4. And graphically, when you look at them, 1 out of 2 is the same, is equal to uh, 2 out of 4. So you can say it's the uh, same ratio. So that's the graphical view. But when you look at it, um, the process that goes from 1 half to 2 fourths will also be used, although when we redu reduce a fraction, we go backwards. Um, but as you can see, how do we go from one half to two fourths? Uh, we divide each, we divide this top one. We, I'm sorry, we multiply the top one by a two, because one part becomes two parts now. So it, when we go from, uh, uh, the shaded area from from here to here uh, use a different color so this one part becomes two parts when we do one times two so that's the top and the bottom the bottom is uh, how many parts we divide one equal to so as you can see we had two equal parts after we divide each equal part into another two equal parts two equal parts becomes a total of four equal parts. So we have two, two pieces times by two that give us uh, four parts, one, two, three, four here. So the top, this is the top, a numerator, and that's the bottom or denominator. And that's how we, uh, uh, we can actually go back. If we are, are given a fraction one half, we can multiply the top and the bottom by the same number to get 2 over 4. So 1 half is also equivalent to 2 over 4. When we go backwards, uh, we combine these two equal parts into one equal part. 
So when we divide two by one, so divide two by sorry divide by two by two, we will go back to get the one part. Similarly, we had we have four equal parts here, and if we combine any every two of them, so every two becomes one part. Every two becomes one part. That will give us four divided by two. That go back to the two equal parts we have because we're combining every two, like every two pieces into one. Uh, so that will this process when we go back that corresponds to the the uh, reducing fraction part. So both process processes will be used when we reduce a fraction. We do the we use the top one division. But when we add or subtract fractions, we often have to use this process、um, to change our denominator to the denominator that we want. Okay, so let's look at what this property is. So as you can see,、uh, when we have a fraction, you can multiply top and bottom by the same number. So any fraction we have, we can multiply the top by a number and the bottom by the same number. Notice that the top and the bottom must be multiplied by the exactly the same number. It cannot be different, and we will、uh, get th this will not change the fraction a over b. So, for example, we had a one half. We multiply top by two, bottom by two, and we get a different fraction, two over four, but it's still the the same as one over two.、Uh, so that's、uh, that's the fundamental property of fractions. And similarly, you can go backwards. As you can see, if I、uh, have two over four, we can divide top and bo bottom by、um, by two. So it's kind of like so. If you have something like a times k over b times k, if both top and bottom share the same、uh, factor, we call them factor, as we in introduced pre in previous video, and you can divide. Both of them by k. So when you divide both of them by k, k divided by k, we get a one. K divided by k, we get a one. So you're gonna have a times one over b times one. But a times one is a, b times one is b. So that we still get a over b. Graphically, as you can see, it's like combining every k pieces、uh, into one piece, and so you end up with、uh, a big pieces and b big pieces. So using this as example again. Um, so k over here. This is num our k here, k here. So when you when you、uh, divide each small piece, each big piece into another two small pieces, this is like multiplying by two. When you go from here to here, but when you go back, you you will combine every two pieces will become one big piece. Every two small pieces become one big piece. You will have to divide by two to get.、Uh, Less bigger pieces, so that's a little bit explanation for、um, the, this property, which will be used、um, uh, whenever we deal with fractions. So now let's look at the、uh, first type of question: reducing the fractions. Example:、um, We have、um, let's say just we're gonna、uh, reduce the fraction. Seventy-two over ninety. So what we do is we're gonna try to find、um, break down seventy-two、uh, and, and and break down nineties, so we can see what they both contain, what kind of factors they both contain. So doing what we、uh, learned before to break down seventy-two, you can use the factoring tree. Eight、um, times nine. If you are familiar with the multiplication table, eight is two times four, and four is two times two. And now this. This branch will、uh, will have all the prime numbers, and nine is three times three, so we have those prime numbers circled. So we have two times two times two times three times three, and ninety to break down ninety.、Uh, we know it's nine times ten, and nine is three times three, and ten is two times five, and all these numbers are prime. So let's write down.、Uh, I'm gonna write down in the non-decreasing order. So two. Three, three, and five. When we、uh, break them down, we can see the top has a two and the bottom has a two. They can be、uh, canceled. So we are. It's like doing two divided by two, two divided by two, and no more twos. But top has a three, bottom has a three, 
and and that's it that's all we have so now we can oh there's uh, another three sorry we can cancel and now we have uh, two times two left on the top which is four and bottom a five uh, we are using this property right here if you see a um, number both a number about a factor in there you can divide this number to get rid of them and so it's kind of like you can just cross them out uh, or it's like doing divide division now um, next uh, let's look at how to multiply and divide um, fractions so first how do we multiply fractions the rule is multiply straight or cross uh, so if you, uh, when we multiply fractions, we multiply top A and top C, and bottom B times bottom D. So that's called multiplying straight across. So we can look at example. Now we multiply the top number 9, top number 14, bottom number 4, and bottom number 15. Now we I have to reduce our answer. And we're going to break down each number, say 9 as 3 times 3. 14 as 2 times 7, and uh, uh, 4 as 2 times 2, and 15 as 3 times 5. And now we're going to cross out the common factors. And this 3 cancels that 3, this 2 cancels this 2. And now we write down, when you don't have anything in common, you can multiply the top and the uh, bottom. So this is the re simplified answer, reduced answer. There are other ways that you can do. If you can see that without breaking them down um, in the prime in prime numbers, you can see say nine and fifteen. They have both have three in common. You can divide both of them by three if you want to do this way, and then you can you're going to get a three. And similarly, fourteen and four they have a two in common. If you can see it, you can do this in your head and reduce them to get a seven and a two, and then multiply. Uh, three and uh, uh, three and uh, uh, seven and two and five on the bottom. So if you want to do this way, that will also work. But if you have trouble seeing what they have in common, you can always break them down. Now next, we can look at how to uh, divide a fraction. The rules for dividing fractions are uh, is uh, multiplying the reciprocal. Uh, the a quick way to help you to memorize this rule is keep change flip I'll show you an example to explain this uh, so the rule says uh, multiply reciprocal which means you will have to change division to multiplication uh, so this multiplication division will be changed to multiplication reciprocal means you flip the fraction so this fraction 8 over 15 will be flipped to get 15 over 8 but the first fraction you're going to have to keep it that's called a multiplying reciprocal. But the quick tip is uh, keep change flip, which means you keep the first fraction four ninths, change the divi division to multiplication, and flip the next fraction. So this will be a little bit easier to memorize. Now, after you do apply the rules, then you get the multiplication of two fractions, which can be uh, done by uh, uh, similarly to the first example. Uh, multiplying straight across. So now we are going to um, multiply 4 and 15 on the top, 9 and 8 on the bottom. As you can see, this 4 goes into 8, so we can divide both of them by 4. And 15 and 9, they both share a 3 in common, uh, and you divide both of them by 3. So if you can see this, and you can go ahead and work them out on the numbers, like this instead of breaking every single every single number down so let's go ahead and do this way now we can multiply straight across 1 times 5 is 5 and uh, 3 times 2 equals 6 and this is reduced answer uh, but again if you have trouble seeing what they have in common the other way to do to do this part is to break four, break 4 down uh, to 2 times 2 and so you break 15 down to 3 times 5, break 9 down to 3 times 3, and break 8 down to 2 times 2 times 2, and then cross out the common factors if you have trouble seeing directly. 
and then you will get the same answer five over six.